Pirates. These are three-year-old pacing fillets in Ohio Breeders Championship. Purse of $24,302, racing one mile. In the third, there are no changes. Number one, Star of the Future. Owned by Lundford, Mullins, Hughes, and Hummerick of Ohio. The driver, Eric Lundford. Number two, Screaming in the Night, with the Westgate Motors of Columbus, Ohio, the driver, Dave Miller. Number three, TM's Go-Go Scooter, owned by Marsha Janaki of Perrysburg, Ohio, with Jim Mullinax. Number four, Lot of Falcon, over the Jones and Hunwick Farms of Galleon, Ohio, Jeff Fout drives. Number five, Cindy Rella. Owned by Rankin, Weisenberg, and the Ellicott Shaker Motors of Ohio, Ryan Holton drives. Number six are Sleepin' Beauty. Owned by Michael and Leslie Stewart of Marysville, Ohio, with Don Feaster. Seven is Dream Dancer. Owned by the Enviro Stables of New York, New York, with Luke Willett. And number eight, Candy Kiss, sold by Jeff Batt of Defiance, Ohio, John Campbell in the Sulky. Win play show, perfecta, trifecta, pick three wagering. Ohio Breeders Championship sponsored by the Peter Pan Stable. Third race, three old Philly Pacers in Ohio Breeders Championship, lining up, moving in. Field of eight behind the gate. They're in the stretch. Here they come. They're off and pacing, and our sleeping beauty fires out hard from the outside for the late ATM's Go Go Scooter right there. Getting away in second, star of the future from the pylons in third, and here comes Luke Willant early with Dream Dancer underway to the outside. At the pylons, racing in fifth as they swing to the back stretch, screaming in the night. Inside, racing in sixth is Lana Falcon to the inside seventh as they come to the first quarter, Cinderella. And Campbell has Candy Kiss on the back end, racing eight. 28 and one for the opening quarter as they race to the far turn. Our Sleepin' Beauty with a comfortable four length advantage. Inside, TM's Go Go Scooter racing in second. Dream Dancer has settled in nicely in third now. Star of the Future will wait and flush that cover is now second over in fourth. Down to the inside, racing in five, screaming in the night. To the outer flow in sixth comes Lotta Falcon. Down at the rail and saving ground, Cinderella. And Candy Kiss is out and underway from eighth. Half and 58 seconds flat, but our Sleepin' Beauty continues the lead by two, two and a half. Dream Dancer coming first up and coming hard to challenge in second. TM's Go Go Scooter on the inside, gapping badly in third. Star of the Future is drafting along with the outside and fourth. Right there is Lana Duncan, followed closely by Candy Kiss. Down the back stretch to the three quarters, our Sleepin' Beauty leads by two. Earplugs come out on her. On the inside, Dream Dancer continues to race in second with Star of the Future within striking distance third. 127 flat for the three quarters. Midway to the final turn, our Sleepin' Beauty by two, now three. Dream Dancer on the inside can't keep up. Star of the Future comes to the outside. Down at the rail, Candy Kiss with John Campbell. Final 16, it's our Sleepin' Beauty. And our Sleepin' Beauty handles this field easily. Our Sleepin' Beauty coasting to the wire. Big battle for place, the mile, 156 and two. Stepping trackside to the winner's circle, winner of the first division, Ohio Breeders' Championship for three old Philly Pacers, sponsored by the Peter Pan Stables. Number six are Sleepin' Beauty. Three old daughter of Sandman Hanover. Out of Bye Bye Sleepyhead by Bye Bye Andy. Home of the breeders, Michael and Leslie Stewart of Marysville, Ohio. Leslie Stewart trains. Don Feaster, the winning driver. Our Sleepin' Beauty coming in from Upper Sandusky to win her seventh in ten this year. Pacing in the mile here this morning, 156 and two fifths. The caretaker for our Sleepin' Beauty, Leslie Stewart, and tracks out to make the trophy presentation. The owner of the Peter Pan Stables. Mr. Bob Glazier, the Peter Pan Stables has been the leading stable the past number of years and currently leads all owners in 1999. You saw Bob Glazier in the winter circle there. He certainly hopes to be there later a couple of times with the Panderosa. Just the warming up. Jug. 